Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Tornado Survival Season 5, Episode 23. And uh, in the last episode, we built this sugarcane farm over here. Uh, which I actually did gather ice for this, but it, I haven't placed it yet, basically. But uh, yeah, welcome back. Uh, like I said, Season 5, Episode 23. And in today's episode, I kind of want to catch you guys up on a few things, and there's a storm, which... Uh, Oh my god, it's heading this way. <laughs> but, uh, so as you guys might know, um, I did a live stream. I'm recording this <laughs> at 6 a.m. on, uh, you know, the 30th. But last night, I did a live stream. It was a very successful stream. I didn't stream for as long as I wanted to. But, uh, it was still a good four hour stream, which I think that's a pretty good, uh, lengthy stream there. But uh, in that four hours, I did do a few things. Uh, I am going to be keeping an eye on that storm. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys one of the things that I did on the stream. I did a few things. For one, there's a new tunnel right here that goes, you know, in the old base. And this is going to have a chicken farm in it. But right here, you might be wondering, what in the actual hell is this? Well, um, I've added a new mod to the world. I've added Mr. Crayfish's vehicles. And this is the Felium uh, grinder thing. Because we need this to be able to drive the vehicles. So, uh, yeah. This is just a little Felium farm, I guess. Uh, luckily, we have the Enderman farm, Ender Sap, and then uh, this I'd assume is Blaze Sap. Um blaze juice okay whatever uh which in theory this should be on but it's not <laughs> there it goes <laughs> right so this creates phelium and then you know i can eventually move this somewhere and put it outside and i have crafted one of the vehicles and uh i'll take you to it now um right here it's the tr um, it's the lawn mower which I don't want to drive this you know through here because you know obviously it's a lawn mower so it's gonna it's gonna mow the lawn we're gonna see what the storm does and I do have a clip from the stream that I want to show you guys but we will take a look at that in a minute after the storm passes which uh, it's right over the base here and it looks like it was kind of on path for uh, the other base over there which is not good it's right over top of us here so you very well could get some damage on our uh, house here which uh the clip I want to show you guys it was a close call that I had on the stream um, I can guarantee you one of these days the house is gonna get hit on a stream it's it's gonna happen uh, it's right over top of us here uh, where's the sun at? It's... I don't know. <laughs> Being honest. And, uh, it's looking like this is kind of high. I don't know, it's not. I think I'll be getting into the weather tower here. I don't ever use this, do I? Uh, because we will be seeing what the storm does. See where it goes. See if it hits anything as we often do. I am... Oh, it's a tornado. Alright, where's it going? Uh, it's gonna be pretty close here. Uh, I think we'll be good. <laughs> Although, that is pretty close to the base here. Oh, yeah, we're good. Though, uh, that part of that village over there is not looking good. Uh, if you guys don't know, I have another clip I want to show you guys. This part of the village that used to be here is gone. <clears throat> but, uh, I've got a few clips to show. So, we'll see what the storm does first. It's looking like it's hitting that. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I've got a little bit of updates to do on clips here because you guys are probably a little far behind if you don't watch the streams. There goes that bridge. 
Man, this episode is going to be action-packed full of storms. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that village memorial is definitely getting wiped out. For sure. It's already an F2. Wow. I was kind of hoping that wouldn't get hit, but, uh, yep. Once we see those cobblestone walls get picked up, we know we're screwed. We're screwed. <laughs> Damn, it's already an F3. Now this seems to be like Tornado Alley, this area right here. Because, uh, Jesus Christ, I've had so many tornadoes go through here the last 24 hours. <laughs> last 36 hours, I should say. Um, it looks like part of this can be saved. Okay. That storm's semi past at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys those two clips from, um... Well, one of them is not from the stream. One of them is from when I was playing this world, you know, off screen. But, uh, go ahead and check out those clips now. So I'm just doing a little bit of off-camera work here. Just playing around in the world. You might be able to see here in the top left that there's a storm. And uh, I wasn't concerned about it at first, but um, it just booked a very hard left. And appears to... It's going to be so close to the barn. Uh, I'm going to get in the weather tower here. We don't ever use it. Uh... The only reason I've cut in is because that is, like, a very hard turn. And it's going to be awfully close to the barn. That was weird. Audio's having a few issues here. Let's see if I can crank my render distance up a little bit. Uh gonna miss thankfully although I think <laughs> whatever is left of that village over there is done so uh this is a very close call for the house and stuff here uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this back down because with my luck recently I've been pretty laggy uh yeah <laughs> over here is done Although, I was very scared that it was going to take, like, a very hard turn into there. Because I thought that's what it was doing. Uh, well, that bridge is about to get absolutely annihilated. Wow, that was a close one for the barn. Uh, yeah, that's right on path for both of the village memorials over here. So, both of these are done. Like, 100%. Like, I'll even place the forecaster down. Yeah, that is, uh... Yeah. <laughs> lag. Sorry if it's lagging. I, I don't know what the problem is. So, yeah, that bridge that was over there at one point has gone. Looks like it's down to an F1. Yeah. Yep, it's hitting it right now. Well, I'm just about to. Yep, it's hitting the village. Rip. Uh, taking a lot of screenshots here, but... Ooh. <laughs> Absolute destruction right there. Mm. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> you hate to see it. This right here should be fine. It's going to be very close, though. Yeah, that's a very close call for that right there, but uh, <laughs> these three houses that were here are completely gone. 
Yep, well, that could have been a lot worse, in my opinion. That was very, very close to the barn. And, uh, it did take a pretty gnarly turn over here, as you can see. As it was heading this way. Well, then it took a very nasty left. And, uh, what I was fearing is that it was taking, like, a hard turn like this over to here. And, you know, gonna hit the base and stuff. But, luckily... It missed the base by just a little bit, and there's another storm I'm not going to focus on. Alright, so there's your, uh, there's your tornado action for the episode. Hope you enjoyed. Uh-oh! A lot of news. Uh-oh! Uh, I might have to clip something. Uh-oh! <laughs> Uh, Foxy, I think it's happening. <laughs> uh oh. The stream is the stream is delayed, so I have no idea what's going on. Uh oh. Kiddo hitting heading towards his base. Uh oh. It's. <laughs> <laughs> I can just tell. I don't even need to look at it to know that. It's an F two. Mmm. And the uh, stream showing F one. Oh, yeah, uh, see, I, the stream, the stream finally. The stream finally. Eh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. It's uh, YouTube's so bad on the lag on the streams. Uh. Not lag, but lag. Tiny little bat. Come on, please <laughs> don't be a Tiny big storm. Bat. Okay, it's weakening. It's weakening. So maybe by the time it plows into the house, it'd be a F1. It's fine. Yeah, welcome to the stream. <laughs> I don't think this is a. Uh, the word. I don't think this is fine. There is an F2 barreling towards the house. <laughs> I think an F1 is the worst. No. <laughs> and, like, the worst of all, a dying F2. That's, that's what annihilated everything. <laughs> no, nah, F5 really annihilates everything. This is bad. Like, this is really bad. <laughs> This is really bad. You're muted, unknown. Uh, I think uh, I think I'm gonna have to rebuild the house this stream. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is on a crash I like course what, path. I like what Gavin put in it. That's funny. <laughs> uh, the National Weather Service. <laughs> Yeah, unknown. Just oh. don't, don't say any okay. like things that get any of us in trouble or any of that. Yeah, this is on a crash course path. Basically, course. don't don't copy what Wolfles Wolfles said. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I have some very slight concern, and when I say very slight concern, I mean oh shit. <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> we might be getting lucky. We might be getting lucky. Oh, I think we're getting lucky. Oh, you wanted a tornado this stream. Not to hit my base. <laughs> oh, what a close call that would have been. Or, no, what an unfortunate event that would have been. <laughs> it, it turned. Let me see where this was originally yeah. heading. But I I did a quick glance at your stream and I thought you were flying. Just an elytra. <laughs> I was like, how are you flying? <laughs> I'm just good. Uh. Yeah, that would have been a good thing that turned away. <laughs> Cause uh that would have been really bad. <laughs> Rules. I oh my gosh. What's up, killer? We we uh we <laughs> almost would have been losing the house this stream because there was a tornado heading for it, but um, luckily it turned. <laughs> oh, that would have that would have sucked so bad. I think it would have hit at an angle where it would have destroyed the entire thing. Okay, I need to pay more attention to the radar. <laughs> That's um. 
Now that's a smart idea. <laughs> right. So as you can see, um, I had a tornado touchdown back here somewhere, and it was very close to the barn, and uh, it hit, you know, what was left of this part of the village here, which was what the thumbnail was for my live stream. And then you can see on the live stream we had an F2 that was barreling this way towards the house, but luckily it turned this way. So we're good there. That was a pretty close call, both of those. Uh, it could have been in a lot more danger, and if we look at the mini-map here, oh yeah, if that touched down sooner, the house would have been done. <laughs> but, um, I think that's all I did in the stream. No, no, I did more. Um, another thing, which is a project I also did in Season 4. We will go look. As you guys know, we've got the zombie farm that I've bragged about. I have a redstone system set up, and if you look on the mini-map, you can see all of the... Stupid chat. You can see all of the redstone that's uh, everywhere. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom that back out, because it's awful looking. Let's see, there should be an entrance about right here. <laughs> So you can see that the lines come in from, you know, where the house is all the way over to here. And this is the main thing that controls it. The line that comes down. Uh, I don't know what this goes to, but it's not necessary. Um, one of these lines goes to where the track is. One goes to all the lights. Uh, this, These are actually the lines that come in and reset. And then... Whoops then huh oh yeah these are what go to the lights and then this comes out and uh goes to the track somewhere else I was confused for a second I thought my wiring was a little screwed up and then all the there's two other panels that this comes into and this does completely work it was very tight squeeze a very tight squeeze but uh I got it in it was a lot more complicated than the season 4 world but if we want to go to the old base, you see this light will come on, and then in theory we'd be going to, you know, the old base. And uh, I actually don't want to go all the way back. And then you can see this panel right here. Say I wanted to go to the house, I clear it, and the track would change. I did this in season four. If you watched that season, um, there was a lot more redstone to it in season four than there was in this. So I think there was like five control panels in season four versus, you know, the three here. And the season four world was awful with just water caves and stuff. So I was having to deal with water caves with that too. So that made it ten times worse. But uh, that was that. I also got mending for everything. I didn't do that on the stream. Uh, I did this last night. Uh... I still need one more mending book for the hammer, and this bow needs a name. I don't know what to name this bow, but I do have names for all of this now. Facebook luck, because Facebook Marketplace is pretty garbage. But all the armor in the elytra has mending, and I've got feather falling four now. So the armor's done, and the tools are just about there. This needs unbreaking three. This needs efficiency five. And this needs infinity then that'll be good to go and I'm sure you guys have heard that I want to get a backup set of paracord going that's gonna have to be done on a live stream because that's gonna be pretty complicated it took me it took me a while to do this set and I'm still not done with it so <laughs> yeah I'm definitely gonna have to do some live stream work and this chair is getting squeakier as the days go by it's getting really old <laughs> That's why you don't buy gaming chairs. Especially when you're a bigger person like me. Don't buy gaming chairs at all. They're horrendous. Then, I don't know if you guys have seen this yet. I've just got a little map wall right here. Then there's a <clears throat> another portal down here now. And, yeah, I've done a little bit of expanding to the base. Which I still plan to do more. Uh, I've got a few more ideas for stuff that I want to do in there. I've still got to patch up a few things here as well. Um, so yeah, it was a very successful stream. I definitely want to stream more. And that's kind of going to lead me to this point here. I would like to live stream every Sunday. Um, 
it'd probably be around the same time each each stream around you know the evening hours of like 5 p.m. Eastern it'd probably be around that I can't guarantee it'll start at that time every single time I want to stream and there is also the possibility that something can come up and I won't be able to stream or I won't want to stream it really depends on my mood on all these days because in my discord server I've actually created a channel where I've listed every Sunday up until March 31st of next year um, the reason I've chosen March 31st to you know stop is because April is usually pretty full of exams and finals and state testing for me and um, I can guarantee you that like after all this testing is done so I'm going to be testing all throughout April um, I'm sure I'm going to be pretty tired because there's a lot of testing I have to do and for the state testing I actually have to go places and I'm sure when I get back, I'm just going to want to chill out in my bed or something or listen to music. I'm, I probably won't really be in the mood to stream. So I will just be taking April off from streaming, but I'll still be uploading. Um, these are just ideas I have now. It is very possible that I change my mind and I do decide to stream in April. I don't know. Like I said, it's not likely that I stream every single Sunday that I've listed. Um, and there's also the few straggler weekdays for holidays, for example, because... I plan to stream on both New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, and I also plan to stream on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, just for fun. I also plan to stream two days prior to New Year's Eve, and uh, a few days, I've added a few more streaming dates in uh, December and January, since I'll be on winter break, so y you can look forward to all that. A few more extra days. But I, I really do want to get into streaming more. I had a lot of fun on that stream. Like I said, it wasn't as long as I wanted it to be. Which, you know, that's fine. Uh, not every stream is going to be perfect. You know. I mean, it was still a fun stream. But I definitely... Uh, would like to stream more. And another thing is, I want to thank you guys for 800. We hit 800 on that stream. And I'm very grateful for it. Uh... I wouldn't be where I am if it wasn't for this channel. Um, I know everybody says that, but I do genuinely mean it. This channel brings me some form of happiness. <laughs> so, it's nice being able to upload and, you know, basically do what I, you know, enjoy. Uh, Tornado Survival has been one of my passions for quite a few years now. Um... I was very late, as you guys know, to joining, you know, the whole tornado survival scene, but, um, I'm still glad that I'm here, and I'm, you know, I'm trying to be one of the most active tornado survival YouTubers that there is for 1.12, um, the weather mod's being updated here soon, we all know that, so I think the tornado survival community is gonna be slightly relevant again, um, not 100% sure, but uh, I'm sure it will be. Uh, there's no doubt about it. It did kind of get sucked back into life when um, 1.18 was released. So, oh man, I had a bunch of torches in here. I forgot about these. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm getting all these jack o' lantern lights, uh, I'm going to be doing a project in my next stream that involves me lighting up stuff. So. <laughs> You can look forward to that. Basically, this was just bleh. basically this was just an update episode, letting you guys know like how the stream went. And uh, I don't want to record this episode too long because you know those two clips are going to take up a big chunk of the episode. Um, I want to try to go back to my normal time limit for the episodes, which is like twenty to twenty-five minutes. Um, but, you know, the more grindy episodes, like how they've been recently, those are definitely going to be, uh, you know, <laughs> they're, they're going to be longer, basically. But, um, I think to f close off this episode, I'll try to fix, uh, that thing that just got hit there. I'm also getting pretty tired of that bridge getting hit. That's like the fourth time that bridge has been hit. So, this is probably going to be the last time I decide to repair that bridge. Otherwise, it's just getting torn the hell down. <laughs> Whatever's left of it, that is. So, let's get some slabs. 
because you know this is built out of slabs of course and I'm gonna need dirt which I know there's a stack of dirt in here for some reason so there you go but uh, throughout the next couple episodes um, I would like to kind of focus on the mr. crayfish stuff like I don't want that to be the main focus of every freaking episode but um, I would definitely like to work on it because I definitely need to do some more live streaming because I am running so low on iron and gold. Mainly iron and gold is not really the biggest problem, but uh, I am running low on it for sure. Um, but I, I want to do a few live streams just caving. Uh, I think I honestly want to spend all of next week's stream just caving. That's... <laughs> It's going to get pretty boring, and it's not going to be the most entertaining stream, but it needs to be done, and I don't want to sit here for, you know, a couple hours just not talking or and stuff. I want to be able to stream, and you guys did seem to, you know, enjoy that stream. I had a lot of people come out, which was uh, quite the surprise, if I'm being honest. Like, you guys came out, like, as soon as I started the stream, and, like, there were at least three or four people by the time I started. Also, I did a huge oh, ghost blocks that uh, decided to reappear. Um, I did completely flatten out this area over here because this is going to be where the airport tower is built. Um, though, if I'm going to keep getting storms going through here, I'm not going to put it here because it's going to get ridiculous after a while. And uh, I knew this was going to get hit. Oh, man, that sign got picked up. Uh, when did this uh, uh, rest in peace? I think it was September 18th. I believe. <laughs> and let's rebuild this bridge. Or whatever this is. Walkway, path, whatever. They're all the same. <laughs> and we'll rebuild this farm. I want this memorial to stay. That's why I'm bothering with it. Because, um, you know, this was a village at one point. So, I want to keep this here. But uh, if it's just going to get annihilated constantly, there's no point. I'm getting pretty tired of all the storms that have been coming through here recently. It's been kind of getting old. <laughs> but, uh, there's nothing I can really do about it. This house is... God almighty. <laughs> Can you imagine when the main house in this world gets hit? That's going to be an absolute nightmare. <laughs> it almost happened. This episode was almost uh, Minecraft Tornado Survival Localized Weather Mod Season 5 Episode 23 House Destroyed. That's almost what this episode was. But um, luckily the house didn't get hit. Although, like I said, it was pretty damn close. If it didn't turn, if that storm didn't turn, because it, you can see the path. Uh, well, you really can't. <laughs> um, because there's been 6,000 storms through here. But it was heading through here. So I think it was going to hit this. God damn, that looks ugly. Um, that was going to... It was right on path for the house. It was on a crash course path for everything, by the way. That I built over there. So that could have been a very disastrous situation to have happen. But luckily it didn't hit but there's no saying when the base will get hit I'm surprised the base hasn't been hit <laughs> like if I'm keeping it real um, you know when I was on season 2 for example like the house got hit immediately like the episode after I built it it got hit <laughs> so it, it's, it's just a matter of time guys um, I'm honestly thinking by episode 30 we probably will have a direct hit over there it is very possible. Um, I'm not going to end the season until something over here gets hit. Because I'm not going to pull a season four. So, it, it, it's it's really a matter of time. And especially with my config for this version, it's, uh, it's destined to happen. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know, uh... Oh. I know I didn't really do the most in this episode, but this was, like I said, mainly just kind of an update episode, showing you guys some clips from the live streams. 
which moving forward i think the live streams are going to make up most of this series like moving forward because um i will likely have to pull in a clip from every stream i do um on this series um and speaking of me wanting to stream every sunday i'm not going to stream tornado survival every single time it is very likely that I will stream Tornado Survival once a month, twice a month. It, it'd probably be two to, two or three times a month I stream Tornado Survival. I plan to do at least four streams a month. Sometimes there's months where there's four streams, five, six. Because I think December has six streams planned. So, in December, it, it, it really depends, like... You guys can let me know in the comments if you want to see maybe Gary's mod with killer or I don't know something with modded you guys can let me know what you want to see uh, and I'll talk to them about it I want to do a Gary's mod thing with killer but as we know my storage on my computer is not the greatest so uh, it's very hard to have that game as well as the very small amount of games I do play <laughs> but you know it's fine it's really not so, um, yeah, about this making tornado survival, my freaking arm rests are tearing apart, you gotta love it. Um, the live streams will likely make up the series, mo most of the series, uh, as I will be including, like, full clips, and some of the clips can be longer than others, and, uh, it, it really depends, because I think if I want to continue this series I'm gonna have to stream it so I think that's kind of something that was throwing me off in season four I only streamed it a couple of times and then that was it I was only playing in the world off camera and doing so much off camera that it was just so unenjoyable after a while so I want to live stream this world like we've crossed day 300 on this world finally <coughs> I think we can all agree this has been my best season so far and I would like to keep it that way so like I've got a lot of ideas and obviously every episode is not going to have um, live stream clips some episodes I'll do but um, I at least want to do two episodes a week so I think there will be one episode where it's you know non live stream stuff and there will be another episode that has live stream stuff in it it really depends I've, I've still got to do some thinking on this but um if I want to reach my episode goal by the, the end of this year, to have episode 40 by the end of the year, then uh, this is what's got to happen. Um, now, it is very possible that um, after a while my voice is going to go dead, because <laughs> uh, <coughs> just recording tonight, like my throat is on fire. I notice it's only when I record that I have throat problems. So, it is very possible that I will probably have to cancel a few streams because uh, I'll probably be sick. So, yeah, because my, my throat is, <laughs> it's done tonight because, you know, the stream and then I was on a call for a while and then I'm recording an episode. I think I'm overusing my voice. <laughs> Alright, so that's going to wrap it up for this episode. hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you did. Make sure you catch the live streams. I'm trying to stream for, you know, at least four hours every time I do stream. I would like to go for longer streams. Um, not, I'm not sure. But I uh, do expect some more out of me. I really want to, you know, progress in this world. And I want to get some more stuff done on this channel because, you know, it's just been kind of dead for the last while. I've only been uploading. I haven't been streaming or anything. And it was awesome seeing so many of you come out to that stream. It really, really meant a lot to me. So, I think the more streams I do, the more motivated I'll be to do this series. And the faster we can grow on YouTube, hopefully. Like, uh, I gained like four subscribers on that stream and it, it felt really good. So, the more I stream, the more this channel can, you know, grow. The more people I can get watching this series. And, uh you know the more episodes I do I guess but I do plan to start another series in the future but yeah if you want to join my discord I just burped 
if you want to join my Discord, there's a link in the description for you. And uh, there's a couple other links down there if you would want to check those out. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.